Coal mining is a messy and expensive business to dig out something that we're simply going to burn. So why bother? Can't we just burn it where it is? Well, we can. It's called underground coal gasification and it's not a new idea, but it is one of the new panaceas for the world's energy needs. Rowan Courtney from Clean Coal Limited is with me now. Rowan, welcome. Hello. Let's start, if you would, with a brief explanation of how the technology works for underground coal gasification. It's all done underground. 500 metres, 1,000 metres down, long way underground. So from the surface, you know, a long way. So you've got, the, got a coal seam, a lovely coal seam. It's probably surrounded by rock, OK? You, you drill two wells. The first well is to ignite. Everyone gets so frightened about ignite, but you're, you're talking about converting, you know, by pressure, uh, this, uh, this coal into, into gas. The other well has the syn synthetic gas coming up the, uh, up the other well. So what you're doing is everything, everything underground. So it's a very simple, simple uh, process. I mentioned that it's not a new idea. What is it recently that made it an economically viable energy solution? The high cost of oil, oil has increased and increased and increased in terms of the problem that oil, oil companies have in finding you know, more oil and they, so therefore they go from the, the, uh, the low hanging fruit to the, to the most difficult. UCG on the other hand of course is quite, quite the opposite. I mean we, we're, we're starting this now even though it's been around for 100 years. The real, the real activity is now so actually what you're finding is that you're going for the low hanging fruit. It's, it's unmineable coal you're looking for. And also, you know, it's security of supply. It's all those things that you really want in terms of the activity for energy. I know people are very concerned about, you know, the, the way that their planet should be used. But at the same time, we need energy. It's not just the energy industry that's interested in this synthetic gas. It does have other, other uses. Well, it's not just power. It's not just electricity. It's also uh, used for fertiliser, it's used for liquid fuels, there's many other uh, uh, reasons that uh, you use uh, syngas. So as you say, oil prices are going up, your operational costs and your capital costs as well are cheaper. What are the challenges that you face? Public perception. We've lost confidence in government, we've lost confidence in energy companies. And so, rightly, uh, the man in the street thinks, what are you doing, you know, burning coal underground, etc. Our job, my job, is to explain it, is to, is to do it. What we do in Clean Coal is to have public exhibitions. We explain everything we do. And why wouldn't you want to, want to explain? I mean, we, we, don't, we don't do it under people's houses, so that's a different thing. But uh, it's quite right, though, that they ask, they ask these, these, uh, these questions. One of the public perception problems that UCG has is its environmental impact. What do you say to those criticisms? The CO2 we capture, it stays underground. Uh, if it doesn't stay underground, then you can, you can trans transport it in pipeline elsewhere. So nothing actually goes into the atmosphere. So environmentally, you know, the CO2 issue is, is dealt with, but also more importantly, you know, all the rubbish, all the, the ash and the to toxics and all that stuff stays underground where it should be. So it's a, it's a pretty clean, it's a very clean uh, fuel. And if those perception problems can be overcome, what is the potential for UCG in the UK and around the world? You know, this is unminable coal. Unminable coal around the world is the biggest resource of the world. If you add oil, gas, solar, whatever you name it, put them all together, it still doesn't get to coal, unminable coal. So there's no reason why anybody would want to pick a site that's the wrong site, for example. Uh, you just have this great resource. In the UK, as, as it happens, we have a huge amount under our land, we have a huge amount under the North Sea, and, and we have a huge amount under the RSC. So there's a lot of potential. Maybe the potential for energy, if you want to do it that way, in, in UCG for hundreds of years. Rowan, thank you very much. My pleasure.